to the quintessential kitchen. My name is Chef Whisk and over Heather is my assistant. My name is Chef Fabio. Today we are going to show you how to make a quintessential cheeseburger, okay? What he said. So we're going to take some avocado oil and some white wine vinegar, okay? We're going to add a little bit of white wine vinegar first. And then we're going to top it off with some avocado oil. Okay. Then we're going to add some other components. We're going to add some mayonnaise. A little bit of ground cinnamon. Looking yummy. A little bit of seafood seasoning. And then the last thing we're going to add is some cream of coconut, okay? We're going to take our can opener. Delicious. And next we're going to mix it, okay? Now before we start with toasting our buns, we want to actually flatten them out and everything, so... Make it flat. Yeah, that's the best way to have them there. So now, now that they're nice and flat, we're gonna lay them down with this paper towel. And we're gonna sprinkle some avocado oil all over them. A little bit on each. Now let's throw in our buns. Get these nice and toasty a while. Push them up along the sides to have room for our burgers. Okay, so next we're going to take our sauce and we're going to put it in a saucepan. Okay, we'll come over here, make sure the pan is on medium to high heat, and put the sauce in. <laughs> and then we're going to take a stirring spoon, stir it around, and we're going to let this sit for about 10 minutes. Okay? Now it's time to make the burgers. Now you can cook these any way you like, but my preferred way that I like is to boil them and then sear them lightly in the pan. So let's take these on over. I'm gonna bring this water to a boil. So now what we gotta do is put these on the spatula one at a time and lay them into the water. Just like that. Now it's time to sear the burger, so we need some more avocado oil in this pan here. Now we're going to move this around a little bit inside the pan, just like that, just like demonstrated. Now, we go ahead and take out our burgers and lay them on the pan. Now these jaws look a little bit plump today, so now we're going to have to press these down a little bit. One. There's two. Now, don't mind if they're a bit bloody. It might look a bit gross at first, but all the danger will cook out. In fact, we can just take this and move it over to the side. Okay, so while the burgers are finishing, we're going to make our plates, okay? Two plates here. Now we're going to take the bottom layers and then we're going to add some condiments, okay? We have ketchup. Little bits of mayo. We need to add a little bit of lettuce for both. Everyone likes a crunchy bit of lettuce with their burger. And then we're going to put the burgers on top. Now it's time to lay some American cheese on our burgers. It's going to be extra cheesy. Though. Now 
Now these Johns are done so, so we we'll turn that off, remove the pan lid, and we'll take these burgers over to be, or to have their finishing touches put on. Okay, so we're going to do our plating now, okay? I want the spatioli. Here you go. Thank you. So we're going to take the burgers off. We're going to put them on top. Okay. And then we can't forget our sauce, okay? Alright, here we go. Ready? I'll take this over for you and you just spoon it straight out for me. Just add a little bit. Mmm, that looks fantastic, I'll tell you what. It's very yummy. Okay. And it's ready to serve! Cheers! Looks like it's gonna be fantastic. Mm. Mmm! The crispy, the crispiness of the bun with the cinnamon sauce and the top and the seasoning, the seafood seasoning. It's a good combination, don't you think? Oh yeah. This is fantastic, I'll tell you what. I would highly recommend this recipe. You can find it at quintessentialkitchen.com slash burger.